38 dead and no one wants to see any more. The Foreign Office says it's had good cooperation from the Tunisian authorities who put into place additional security measures following the Sousa beach attack two weeks ago. But it's not enough, they say. We have today decided to change our travel advice for Tunisia to advise against all but essential travel for the time being. While we do not have any information suggesting a specific or imminent threat, since the attack in Sousse, the intelligence and threat picture has developed considerably, leading us to the view that a further terrorist attack is highly likely. The Tunisian investigation into those behind the Sousse attack and that on the Bardo Museum earlier this year is ongoing and the Tunisians have made clear they want to track down further individuals who they suspect may have links to this attack. Tourists, they say, should leave by commercial means. Tour operators are arranging additional flights. It's miserable to have a holiday ruined, but how much worse for the Tunisians left behind? 400,000 work in the tourism sector, which accounts for 15% of the Tunisian economy. And he picked up all these ceramic tiles and he just dumped them on this guy's head. And it, and it... Remember Mayel Monsef, the builder who dropped tiles on the beach murderer? He did his best to save lives, but his livelihood will be hit by this. Saifedin Rezgai, the beach murderer, was killed, but how many more like him are still on the loose? The attack at the Bardo Museum in March was the warning sign. The gunmen had trained over the border in lawless Libya. The Tunisians are building a wall along the border, but that won't solve the problem that hundreds of young Tunisians have been radicalized. Last Friday, a minute's silence was held for those killed at Sousse. The government isn't taking chances with any more British lives. But the decision will be a blow to all Tunisians who, after the turmoil of the Arab Spring, are trying to create prosperity and peace.